Welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see by the title of the video, this is the uh, Scott and Wonders um, Independent Bottle Shop £15 Challenge. Um, Scott set the challenges up uh, a couple of months back. Um, the first one was to go to Tesco's and spend £10. The second one was Morrison's for £10. And this one is uh, go to your local independent um, beer shop, bottle shop, craft beer boutique shop. Uh, and spend £15 in there and support the independent retailers and um, I will cut to a little video of me going to a fantastic little, um, I think Phil, the owner, might call this a craft beer boutique shop, um, it's like a craft beer shop and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, little video of the shop and the beers, and then we'll come back to me. Okay, cheers. So we are now at the Hole in the Wall Craft Beer Boutique Bottle Shop, Independent Craft Beer Shop, uh, whichever way you want to call it. Um, it's on Upper Hibbert Lane, which is in Hawk Green, Marple, and uh, we'll take you over and you can have a look inside. So, as you can see from the video, he's got a nice little setup there. Um, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I ended up spending two hours in the shop chatting beer and the story behind the shop. Um, absolutely fantastic. He's, he, he, he really is set up for cold chain uh, beers. Um, all his beers that he has are in the fridge, all set at a really good temperature so there's, uh, there's no beer on shelves uh, so there's no beer and uh, no hoppy beers especially uh, deteriorating on a shelf it's absolutely superb uh, they're all in the fridge absolutely brilliant superb prices and the knowledge Phil is so knowledgeable about breweries about the beers um, if you go in there and you just start I mean like I said I've just been in there two hours later I come away and um, that's 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 what you don't get when you go into your big supermarkets you don't go in there and get chatting to someone who's got the same sort of passion for beer uh, as we have as you know us on the the, the the brewing and the beer scene um our passion and we want to talk about beer and it was it was just brilliant i mean phil is set up there he started he set up during the uh, i think it was yeah, I think I'm right in saying it was during the first lockdown, um, and he's just you know he's he's, he's given that air, that local area um, somewhere to go, and it's like a little hub, and it, and and it was explained to me where it is in um, Hawk Green, uh, which is in Marple in Stockport. Uh, it's like a village in itself, and um, he's part of that community, and he's he's got returning customers and. That's what we should be doing. That's what we should be doing is, you know, going out there. Um, if we, you know, not everybody can afford to go to uh, an independent shop, but just if, if you think about that £10 you're spending 
a supermarket and just go and turn that round and maybe have better quality beer, maybe a little bit less in uh, quantity, but you just know that that money is going into the, your local community and that just helps these businesses and it's absolutely fantastic. Phil uh, said that maybe in the future uh, we can have a chat and I'll put a video on there because it is fantastic. Like I say, his knowledge, the background stories about the shop, the business, where the shop is actually an old co-op building. It, it, it's, it's just fantastic and really interesting. And like I say, you just don't get that when you go into your big supermarkets. You really don't. You, you go in there with the name of buying a beer. You go into an independent shop and you can talk about beer. And you, you can talk about the styles. You can talk about where it's come from, how local. Phil's, Phil's got beers in there that is it, it, <laughs> less than two, like two miles away from his, from his shop. He's supplying beers for a lo all around the areas. He's also supplying beers from as far as away like Portsmouth. He's got like staggeringly, staggeringly good um, in the shop as well. But the beers he's got in the shop, absolutely fantastic. Um, and like I say, he's storing them perfect. I, I don't think I know of another shop that just does cold storage like that. So uh, there is, I think there's a few like um, pubs uh, or what, micro pubs that do that as well. Uh, but just a, like a, a bottle shop, uh, I don't know many just do the cold storage, uh, so it's absolutely fantastic. So, I placed my order online on Monday to go and collect uh, today, uh, just so it's, it's convenient for both of us. So he has got a online shop, but it's not doesn't do the delivery, so it's a collect. It's like a you order it online, you pay for it online, and you, you arrange a time. To go and collect it. He's open, uh, I, think, I think he's actually open uh, so, uh, Tuesday through to uh, Sunday. Um, he has got Facebook if you want to have a look at that. Um, it's up, the hole in the wall at Hawk Green. I will put some little uh, inserts here with this inf information. So I've got his website, he's got his Facebook as well, and I'll put the info up here. It's, if you live local to Greater Manchester, if you're in Greater Manchester, it's worth a little trip out. Just, if anything, just to have the chat about the beers and stuff as well. And and um, Phil can tell you the beers. And, you, and because I, I feel like I've got um, a good knowledge of beer, it was just really good and really, really relaxing. And Mrs. B was with me for two hours as well. But it, it was great. He also, what he does there, he does growler fills. It's just like a litre bottle. And he's got again. He's got a fantastic setup. He's got he's got the the, the kegs stored cool. Um, he's got them on the, the the gas, so there's no oxidising. Um, the growler. I'll put an image. It was in the video, and basically you get a liter bottle, and it can tap in a liter of a beer, and you're not getting any oxygen introduced. It's it's all CO2. It, it, it's it's just really good. Um, yeah, if I do have this uh, online chat with Phil, we'll talk more about that. But that, again, is just a, a massive solid point. He did say during lockdown, when pubs were closed, that he could offer that service and there was people. He said he had people queued up in his shop and he was filling the one litre growlers of fresh beer. They've taken it home. Absolutely fantastic. Can't, I can't shout enough about it. It, it really is... Uh, it's a fantastic little shop there in uh, in Hawkreed in Marple. Uh, he also does like a reward scheme. So that's his uh, little card. Hopefully that's focusing on there. And then you get them stamped. You see like little stamps here. So what does it say? Start collecting today. One litre growler fills, one stamp. Collect all ten to receive a free one litre growler fill. So you, so you, you, you buy the growler off him which is like a litre bottle, flip top, and then you go in, and then he has an offering of different beers on tap. And like I say, it's all well kept. It's cellar, it's cellar, you know, it's, 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 it's as good as, you know, if not better, some of the bars that are offering, um, because it, it's through this growler, it's all controlled, you're not getting any oxygen introduced to that beer, and you're taking away, you can have a drink, you can store it in the fridge for a few days. It's just brilliant. But yeah, um, in the video you'll see that. It's the machine that's lit up on the desk. Um, so, let's get to the point. What did I buy? So, what did I buy? So I went with the, the challenge for uh, £15. 
and uh, there was a, <laughs> didn't realise until I got home there was a slight issue but all full intentions was to have the £15 um, just let me get up on my receipt <clears throat> So, first one I went for, and when I review these beers, there's a, a couple of them got a story as well, and that's the reason why I did go for them. Also, I went for all um, Cloudwater, because Cloudwater, I think they're my top brewery. I really do like uh, the beer they're producing for the, for the independents and also for the, uh, the, the pubs. Um, yeah, maybe the stuff that went into Tesco's wasn't um, to the standard, but... Uh, Definitely this independent stuff is fantastic and Cloudwater to me are, are brilliant and they sell the right things as well. So the first one was uh, Brave Noise Pale Ale by Cloudwater. Um, it's a, a, a collaboration with a big goal, a safe and discrimination free beer industry. So yeah, that one, Brave Noise. And that came in at £4 a can. Superb. Cloud water beer, pale ale, 4.5%, four pound. Superb, absolutely superb. Next one. <clears throat> it's another cloud water, it's a coffee oatmeal porter, a herald of change and disruption. So this is uh, rich, roasty and smooth, coffee oatmeal porter. Um, International Women's Day supporting that, a celebration of women who can continue to uplift and empower us all. We brewed an oatmeal coffee pot using Guatemalan Karen Hernandez coffee from the women-owned girls who grind coffee. So it's on there as well. So that uh, comes in at 5.5% and it's for the International Women's Day 2022. And that one was £4.50. Another cracking price for a beer. Absolutely brilliant. The next one was a table beer from Cloudwater and it's called And Relax. This is a 3.2% volume, uh, light, juicy and easy drinking. Um, what, when I seen this, it was a Citra Mosaic that was uh, brought me to it. You know, some really good, a couple of hops there that are fantastic. Um, and yeah, like I say, Cloudwater can do some really fantastic low ABV beers. I am not joking. Um, Cloudwater and Verdant can really push out some fantastic, uh, what they call table beers, low ABV, absolutely brilliant. Um, this one was £3.25, £3.25 for the cracking little uh, beer there. So this is where, some, you know, my order was there uh, for a Cloudwater Stout, um, what, is, what is called Message Just a Sign of Life. That was £3.25, and that would have brought my four beers to uh, the £15 challenge. <clears throat> when I got home, I noticed that uh, somehow between the two hours that me and Phil were talking, I came back with the Baltic Porter um, from Cloudwater, uh, which is coming in at 7%, uh, material science, uh, rich, robust, smooth, dark beer. Now, I noticed this was like £1.25 more than the uh, stout, so I've messaged Phil, told him that uh, when we next meet up, I'm going to pay him the difference. Um, but it just takes me over that £15. But my intentions and my order was £15. So I don't mind. Independent bottle, uh, well, craft beer shop, I'm going to give them that extra money as well. Not a problem to me. So, yeah, it's come out at £16.25. Um, but my full intentions, it would have been £15, is an easily mistake between me and Phil, so not a problem at all. I couldn't resist while I was there. I seen that uh, Cloudwater Chubbles was in, um, and Phil, you know, like I say, he's got fantastic stock, so I got the double IPA of Chubbles as well. Again, I'll review that uh, on the channel. So they were separate from this uh, challenge, uh, but it just shows you when you go in, when you start talking, you just you get you just get so involved and you realise how good uh, the beers are in these uh, little independent shops. Um, like I say, if we do get Phil to come on the channel and have a chat, fantastic, really interesting. Um, you know, I couldn't I can't bang on more. Um, I've known him for a few years now. He goes to the local uh, brew club where I go. He brews his own beers. He's got a fantastic setup. He's got 
big scale uh, set up there actually in the in the shop as well. Um, hopefully in the future he may uh, get the license and start to brew and sell his own beer through the through the shop, which is you know something that may come. Um, but yeah, it honestly absolutely uh, brilliant. So if you if you live in the Greater Manchester area, if you live in Stockport area, I encourage you to go and see Phil, go and buy some beers, go and have a chat, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Okay, I don't think there's anything more to say at this point, but uh, yeah, look forward to the next challenge. Um, and I will uh, hopefully review them beers as well separately. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.